What's going on all my beautiful people in YouTube land? Welcome back and on today's episode we're going to be asking a question. What's better on the range? Steel targets or paper targets? That is today's topic. So jumping right into it. So I've been getting this question asked a lot of times on what do I prefer? Do I prefer steel targets or do I prefer paper targets? And you know we got these, I like these. There's multiple different kinds of paper targets. You can see you got these type, this type of paper, you know what I'm saying? There's an infinite amount of uh, paper target choices that you can get. Honestly, me personally, I prefer to shoot steel targets because to me, steel targets is more fun. If you haven't been out on a range and you haven't set up some steel targets at random distances and shoot at them and just have fun, you haven't shot. If you haven't shot steel targets on the range, you are not shot guns yet because there's nothing like shooting that steel. There's nothing like shooting that steel, whether it's from five yards, 25 yards, 50 yards, 100 yards out. There's nothing like pulling that trigger, hearing that boom, and then hearing that Bing, that plinking sound. So there's nothing like steel target because what I like about the steel targets is that you have an audible notification. You can hear when it hits. You can hear it go bing, bong, depending on what round you hit it with. So you have that, you have that notification that you hit that target. Just like a text message. When you get a text message on your phone, you get that bing sound. It's the same concept when you shoot from different distances and you just pull that trigger, you hear that boom, and then you hear that notification, bing. That's why I love steel targets. To look at steel targets is like getting a text message. Steel targets is like a text notification that you hit that target without having to go all the way down to look at the target so the thing about paper targets is for example if I set this up at like 25 to 30 yards out and I'm working on my accuracy on long distances or whatever a lot of the times unless you got some binoculars you know and you're, you're looking at your shots you have to you know make sure the range is clear especially if you're shooting in a range where there's multiple people like one of those um indoor ranges or one of those outdoor ranges where everybody have to shoot at the same time and then y'all have to put your weapons on now y'all have to walk up to your targets and check your targets and I mean that's good paper targets is good for when you want to do more accurate more precise type shooting to zero in your weapon and stuff like that you want to shoot paper paper targets have its place don't get me wrong so when you want to be more accurate and get more precise shooting done paper targets has its place but when you want to have when you're working on a lot of speed and time drills steel targets is the way to go and like I said and like I was saying before I distracted myself when you're shooting paper targets and you say you're doing precision type shots take that shot and you have to walk all the way up you know however far you put the target 25 50 100 yards out and you have to check that paper target Target, and you have to see okay yeah I hit I'm hitting a little bit high and I need, I need to bring it back down and so paper targets has its place like I said I mean you can use paper targets for more accurate precise shots when you're zeroing your weapons and stuff like that when you're trying to do more precision more sniper type shots and stuff with paper and paper is the way to go but if you're not really working on I don't want to say accuracy because no matter what you're shooting even if you're shooting on steel you're still trying to be accurate because you're trying to hit the target with steel targets you're not you're not really looking for uh you're not really looking for like an A zone or a B zone or a 10 zone or a 9 zone like see this is the 10 zone right here when you're shooting paper you're looking to shoot that you're looking to get precise you're looking to get those 10 zone those bullseye shots when you shoot paper when you're shooting steel this is one of my smaller steel plates right here I didn't want to get the bigger one the medium or the bigger size ones because for one they're heavy and I just don't want to be you know fumbling with the steel but this is going to represent your torso with all your vitals or whatever so as you can see this right here is covering all my vitals right in my body all my vital organs this small target at anywhere from 5 to 20 yards is going to represent my little vital organs area so when you're shooting steel you're not aiming for a bullseye you're not aiming for an x you're not aiming for an a b or d zones c zone or whatever you're just aiming to hit the target so just like with a human torso in self-defense you're not going to sit there and aim precisely you don't want to get him but i want to hit him directly in the middle you just want to make sure you hit this area so steel targets is not really for it's not really for precise shooting but it's you're still working on your accuracy because you still got to be accurate to hit this plate at 20 yards out so you still have to be accurate but you're not really you're not really you know 
being precise. It's not precise shooting. You just want to make sure that you hit this target, it's a hit. Picture this target on somebody's chest. This is the vital areas. This is all the vital organs. You hit that target from 20 yards, you know that you're accurate from 20 yards. So I like steel targets because like I said, it's like a notification that you hit the target. You're going to hear that bing, you're going to hear that bling, that bong, that gong, whatever sound your steel target makes, you're going to get that notification. Steel targets is like text messages. It's like modern day text messages, you know. Paper targets is more like old school sending a letter or sending an email. Where you got to send the email and you got to wait, you got to wait walking up to the target, you're waiting for the email to travel. And then you get there and now you finally receive your message saying that you hit it in the X. Okay, go back and try it again. You walk all the way back 30, 50 yards out. Get back up on your target with the paper. Boom, you hit the paper target. Now 50, 80 yards out. You got to walk back out. Check your target. Okay, I shot a little bit left. I need to bring it back up. And another big plus about steel is that once you spend the money and get your steel, you don't have to worry about once you buy it, these things are going to last forever unless you hit unless you hit this with like a 50 cal or some type of armored piercing round. These are going to last forever with regular ammunition this is gonna last forever it's a big plus because once you buy steel you won't have to buy targets anymore unless like I said you're doing more precise zero a new optic you're trying to you know confirm zero on an optic then you're gonna use paper but steel targets once you buy them some of them a little bit pricey but there's some decent price steel targets out there you just have to kind of just you know put in some lead work and find them don't get discouraged I know that some of them is kind of pricey but think about it you invest in steel and this thing's gonna last forever as long as you take care of it as you can see there's multiple hits on this steel target all you have to do is when I go to the range again I can spray paint this whatever color you can spray paint this a bright orange you can spray paint this blue you can spray paint it yellow bright yellow and every time you hit you're gonna see even though paper targets is for more precise type shooting you can use steel target for precise shooting all you gotta do is paint it you literally just paint it and you can draw X or I can take one of these little dots I can take one of these little dots from this little target and I can put it right there now I have somewhere to aim. I can zero a weapon with steel. All I need is spray paint and if I have these little dots, these little stickers and stuff like that, I can use this. And to be honest, you don't even need to spend a lot of money because if I want it to be like cheap, if I want to save some money, I don't want to say cheap, but if I want to save some money, I could take one of those paper plates. I could stick it on here with, you know, some tape and I could use that to zero my weapon. I can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And not only are you going to get a visual, but you're going to be able to hear that you hit it. I could draw little circles on there and I could draw a little X in the middle. And I I can stick a paper plate on here and I can shoot that if I really want to if I really don't want to invest in paper at all I don't need to invest in paper because there's multiple different ways hell you don't even need a steel target to zero your weapon you can get a box a piece of cardboard box and you can draw a circle on there you can draw a little circles you can draw your bullseye and you can set up a piece of cardboard on the range so you really don't have to spend a lot of money on targets if you don't want to honestly there's ways that you can go out and train without having to spend any extra money on targets anyways I can go on all day giving you guys tips and tricks and budget friendly ways to, to come up with targets and stuff like that but that's a whole nother episode a whole nother video but paper targets has its place boat steel and paper targets has its place I'm not saying paper is better than steel or steel is better than paper because boat steel and paper targets have its place on the range just look at it like this paper targets will be for more accurate precise shooting especially if you're trying to zero your optics your red dots or whatever you want to use paper and you want to make sure you have a nice stable platform so you can shoot so you can get that precise shot so you can zero your sighting systems and so paper target has its place and even when you're doing range drills there's certain drills that is going to work better for paper targets because for example if I want to do a drill with like the target like three to five yards in front of me and I'm shooting this with a 40 cal or nine millimeter I don't want to hit steel that close because there's a potential that the lead you know might splatter and you know you might get some shrapnel flying back at you and stuff like that you don't want to shoot steel targets super close because pieces of the rounds breaking off and hitting you paper targets is going to come in handy for up close and personal type of drills when you're trying to do drills when you're trying to be up close and personal when you're doing certain there are certain drills that you do in a range that you want to be really close to it so you can visually see it so at the end of the day don't look too much into it understand that boat steel and paper targets has its place on the range you just have to know what you're doing on the range and which one you're going to prefer certain drills i'm going to prefer steel targets because i'm going to be running i'm going to be moving i'm going to be shooting to move and i don't want to have to go up to see if i actually hit the shot i just want that i want the audible notification that i hit the target without having to go up and check to see if i hit the target i just want to make sure like bing 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 moving on to the next target and doing a reload bing 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 you know so so steel targets have its place. I personally like shooting steel over paper because like I said, you get that notification that that shot hit. There's no lying on the steel. You know, when you take that shot, you're either going to hear that bing or you're not going to hear that bing. So 
still don't lie. On paper, you could kind of cheat because if you're shooting multiple shots, then you could say, well, you know what? I think the last time I hit it, the, these are my shots here. I know there's ways to keep track of it, but you can still kind of cheat a little bit. You can still kind of cheat a little bit on paper. Just a little bit, you can cheat a little bit. But on steel, there ain't no cheating. And everybody's going to hear whether or not you hit it or not. So if you hit the steel, you're gonna. everybody's going to hear it. If you miss it, you're going to miss. Everybody's going to hear that you missed. So I like shooting steel. It's a good training tool to have on a range, to have multiple steel targets out there at multiple distances. And that's how I like to shoot. I like to shoot multiple steel targets at multiple distances. So that way you're working on shooting close and you're learning on shooting at a medium distance and you're learning to shoot at a further distance. And you're just working on all those fundamentals because when you're shooting further out, you have to take your time a little bit more. You have to really you have to make sure that you get on target. And when you're shooting at a closer target, at, when you're shooting at a closer steel target, you really don't have to really aim that much. You're still aiming. You want to put that dot, especially if you're shooting with red dots. Like I shoot all my guns with red dots. So you want to make sure you put that dot on the steel. Boom. But it doesn't have to be when you're shooting a steel target. It doesn't have to be directly in the middle. You can see there's shots that hit here. There's shots that hit here. There's shots that hit here. There's a lot of shots in the middle or whatever. So even if I draw my weapon and I shot it right here, it doesn't matter. It still counts as a hit. It, it still hit. I shot it down here at the corner. It doesn't matter. It's still a hit because this, if this is your vitals right here, it doesn't matter if I hit it right here. If I hit it right here, I'm still hitting your vital organ. Those are good shots at close distances. You're pulling a weapon out real quick and pulling the trigger. As soon as you get your, your dot on target, you pull your weapon, boom, you're pulling that trigger as soon as you get that picture. Steel targets is good for those type of, when you're working on speed and time drills, steel targets are perfect because you don't have to waste no time walking back and forth to the target. You know if you hit it, you know if you miss it, you're gonna tell because you're gonna hear a bling. If you don't hit it, you're gonna hear nothing. So that's just my take on steel versus paper. Paper targets had this place on the range. There's multiple different, these are one of my favorite paper targets right here because every time you hit it, it peels away the, the, the little layer of film that it has on there so you can see your shots at a distance. So that's why I like these targets because I don't like to always have to walk up to my target to see why I hit. When you shoot these type of targets on a range from a certain distance past 15 yards, if your eyes ain't the greatest, you're not going to be able to see exactly where you hit so you have to walk up. If you're on the range with like the automatic targets and stuff like that, you can bring it closer to you but then you have to you know, set it back and it goes back out. Press and you shoot again, bring it in, you check it out and then, you know, so if you have one of those high speed ranges where the targets moves then that's cool but if you're on one of those old school ranges where the targets is stationary and you got to walk out after every shot, you know, that kind of gets annoying. And the reason why I like this one is because it comes with extra little dots so when you shoot like say if I shoot a couple groups here I can cover up the shots and I can use this area again with these little dots. I already used them this there's only one more dot. So that's why I like these type of targets because you don't have to walk up to them every time you shoot to see it. You can see it from a distance. You can see that bright yellow from a long distance. Where are you hitting? You can tell if you're hitting high left or you can tell if you're hitting high right or low right. This target is like a mix of the of the other two targets that I showed you. It's like a paper target, but it also has that orange film and you see orange, so you can see that from a, a distance. So this is also, this is like the best of both worlds. If you like this type of target where the paint peels off and it shows you your hits, and you also like this type of targets because they have a human torso, this is the perfect target for you because you get the best of both worlds. You get the human torso, you can see your hits when the blue paint peels off, you can see that bright orange. With this target also, you can also work on precise shots. Like say for example, if this is a hostage situation, let's say this is the bad guy, this is bad guy one, this is bad guy two, you can see the bad guy here, a gun to the, the, the hostage's head. You can practice taking these shots from whatever distance. You know, you can start off at five, then you can push it back to 10, 15, and 20. You can take these shots and you can practice on that type of hostage type shots. If someone has someone hostage and you have to take that precise shot, then you know if you practice that with this target, you know you'll be able to take that type of shot. I don't recommend you going out there trying to take hostage shots, trying to be a hero, but I'm just saying it's just good training. It's just good training to have because you never know you might ever find yourself in a situation like that. I know the chances are slim, but hey, you never know. But anyways, that's all I have for today's episode, man. Paper versus steel targets. I personally like steel because steel is super fun. Like I said, if you haven't went to a range and set up multiple targets and shot multiple steel targets, you have not lived. You are not a gunner. You can't call yourself a gunner if you haven't shot steel targets on a range yet. It's the most fun thing that you can do on a range. There's infinite type of drills and scenarios and things that you can do, the ways you can set it up. There's multiple drills that you can run with steel. That's all I'm going to talk about. Steel versus paper. Me, personally, Personally, I prefer steel. It's so much more fun to get that hit notification that you hit that target just like getting a text message. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. That's it for today's episode. We'll see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to find us on Facebook. Like and follow us on Facebook. Like this video. Follow, subscribe, sub, sub, sub us to the YouTube channel, man. We're trying to get up to 500 on YouTube, man. We need to get to 1,000 so we can start getting monetized. So start getting paid for videos. But honestly, I don't care about the money. All I care about is giving you guys 
awesome quality content. That's all I care about for now. But still, let's sub them. Let's grow this channel. Let's get this channel bigger. Let's get this channel as big as we possibly can. I'm just starting. I'm a rookie in the game right now. My channel's barely seven months old. We're gonna grow eventually. I'm not worried about that. I'm just focusing on bringing you guys awesome content and educating you guys as much as I can and just entertaining you guys on, on top of anything. That's it for today. Remember, be greater than you were yesterday. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.